So in this video, we will do the examples based on the uh, auxiliary equations. And um, first of all, you have to check that whether it is a second order differential equation. Yes, it is a second order differential equation. It is homogeneous. Yes, it is homogeneous. It is linear. I can see that it is a linear equation, differential equation, and it has a constant coefficients. Constants are 2, minus 5, and minus 3. A2 is 2, A1 is minus 5, and A0 is minus 3. So with this, we can apply this auxiliary equation or characteristic equation uh, to get the get our solution, to get our complementary general solution. So replace this because y double dash has the derivative. If y solution is y equals to e to the power mx, then y dash is m into e to the power mx. And y double dash is... Uh, m square e to the power mx e to the power mx eventually gets common so you don't need to write e to the power mx just you have to replace y double dash um, replace m square in place of y double dash and y dash has m and three uh, you don't need to write um, anything with y so that is equal to zero so how you can solve it i think that you can solve it with the factorization so factorization is you can divide uh, make it make its factors that is minus 6 so minus 6 can be made by minus 6m plus m minus 3 that is factorization simple rule 2m m minus 3 minus 1 m minus 3 equals to 0 so 2m minus 1 equals to 0 or m minus 3 equals to 0. So m is 1 by 2 or m is 3. So m1 is 1 and m2 is 3. So it meets the case number 1. That means it both roots are real and distinct, different from each other. So its solution is of the type c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x so you can replace it c1 e to the power m1 is 1 by 2x plus c2 e to the power 3x so that is the solution very easy this one so it is minus 1 by 2 and a minute mistake not a big mistake but you have to uh, clear that mistake correct that mistake okay so this uh, is example number one and also this statement is also wrong okay now we come to the example number two example number two you can do it your own self m square y double dash minus 10 m plus 25 equals to 0 so I can see that is the complete square of this thing like this m into 5 plus 5 square equals to 0 so that means it's a complete square of m a minus b whole square equals to 0 so that means either m equals to 5 or m equals to 5 i'm writing it directly because that means this so m1 equals to 5 and m2 so it falls in the category of second case and that second case is m1 equals to m2 repeated real roots so general solution is of the type y equals to c1 e to the power m1x because m1 m2 is same plus c2x e to the power m2x you just have to replace m m1x basically so you just have to replace m1 that is c1 e to the power 5x plus c2x e to the power 5x that is the solution very easy by using reduction of order you just have to reduce the order step by step then use the linearity assumption no need of that just check that whether which case it falls and then you solve the solution uh, solve the question Okay, third case. Third case is m square plus m plus 1 equals to 0. So, that case is quadratic equation 
एंड क्वालिटी की क्वेजन ए हेयर इज वन बी हेयर इज वन सी हेयर इज वन सो रूट एम इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट बी स्क्वेयर माइनस फोर इंटू ए इंटू सी डिवाइडेड बाय टू इंटू ए माइनस वन प्लस माइनस वन माइनस फोर इज माइनस अंडर रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन प्लस माइनस थ्री अंडर रूट थ्री आयोटा डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो वन रूट इज इट बिकम्स कॉम्जेक्ट कॉम conjugate complex root sorry slip minus 1 by 2 plus under root 3 iota and m2 is minus 1 by 2 minus under root 3 iota by 2 complex conjugate root it falls in the category of 3 third case so yc equals to c1 e to the power alpha Uh, okay you can uh, find out alpha here alpha here is minus 1 by 2 and beta here is under root 3 by 2 the imaginary part this is the real part this is the imaginary part so e to the power 1 by 2 x cos of beta x plus c2 e to the power alpha x sin of Under root three by two x. So that's it. Simple examples.